and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a Princess Polly haul specifically for the month of February. If you don't know, I am a content creator on Instagram and YouTube and I've decided to order some things from Princess Polly to spice up my fashion game for the month of February and I've actually filmed my February content strategy prior to this video where I kind of break down the different outfits that I'm going to be wearing and how I'm going to put that into content, whether it be Instagram Reels, YouTube videos, videos in feed posts. So if you're interested in the Instagram content creation side of things, definitely check out my February content plan with me video. If you'd like to see a behind the scenes of me filming this YouTube video, then check out my work day in my life where I vlog the entire day from setting up these outfits and kind of walking you through my process of creating this content. I will link that video down below. But if you're more interested in the fashion items and things that I picked up from Princess Polly, then keep on watching. Okay, so all these items I purchased purchased with about $200, so if you have a budget of $200, this is probably how much you can get. I did get a few pieces that were a little bit more pricey, like I did get these pink pair of pants that you're going to see in a minute, as well as a suit jacket, which was also pretty pricey. So I suppose you can get a few more pieces if you do get some smaller items. This is the first item, and I am really loving this. At first I was like really confused at how to put it on, but you basically just like tie this top as tight as you can. It's a really pretty pink color. It's not like silky, but it gives off that really beautiful vibe of silky material just the way it's kind of like reflecting light. I'm really excited to create some content in this and I paired it with these jeans from Hollister. I feel comfortable. I feel like I can move around and not worry about it slipping off. It does have these rubber strips so it prevents anything from like sliding and I suppose you can wear it like off the shoulder as well. It's just a little bit more loose that way so I kind of like it up here but it's really pretty. The back is really pretty. It has like one of those pretty like cinched details in the back so overall I really like this and I'm excited to create some content in it okay the next piece is this pink blazer this is their Brentwood blazer in pink and this was $86 I got it in a size 0 and it fits really well it's kind of nice like looser fit it still fits really great on the arms the length is really good it's a little bit oversized but I kind of like that style because then I can wear it over for like another layer at first I was like I think it's a little bit too pink but it's kind of no pun intended like wearing on me I like it a lot it just has these little buttons here and you can button them up and yeah it's really cute I'm excited to do some photos with this I actually pulled out my pink phone. I have been actually looking for a pink blazer at Goodwill for a while and I just couldn't find one and I was like, you know what, it's February, I'm gonna find a pink blazer online. And I think now I can finally do a photo shoot with this phone. I got this phone at a garage sale for like $7 and when I saw it, I was like, I need this phone because I'm going to put it to good use and I've already, I think I've done like two photo shoots with it already, so I'm gonna have to do one with it. And that leads me into the next piece, which I actually have on as well. And I didn't intend to wear these together, but I figured they might be able to go together because they're both pink. They are different shades, but I think in photos it still looks really cute if you're going to go for like an all pink outfit. These pants fit so well. These pants are the Kirsten pants. I got them in a size 2. I'm usually like a size 0, so I would say size up and they are $64. What I like about these pants, which is really cool, is the back actually has like this cinched back. So it's going to fit tight on your back no matter what size you are because you have that elastic so it can expand and get larger and then it'll kind of fit really nicely on your waistline. They are high-waisted, they have like a pleat down the middle and sides. I was surprised when I got them. I first thought they were going to be almost a leather. They kind of look leathery online, like shiny, almost more of like a linen and then they're a little bit like bell bottomy, but they're super cute and I can't wait to style these. I'll probably end up styling them together because I think this is a cute combo. Even alone without the jacket, um, I have like a long sleeve white little bodysuit underneath super cute. I like them a lot and they fit really good. They fit good on the butt. Okay, next up we have this really cute bucket hat and this is their Rise and Shine bucket hat in green. I wasn't originally going to get this, but I felt like it'd be really cute for some like March green content and it's a cute little bucket hat, but I think it's a little bit too big. 
I don't really know. I feel like it's too big. So I might have to send this back. Maybe if I take my hair out of a bun, I put it up because I desperately need to get a haircut because my hair is so long. I really like the color and it's kind of like a ribbed um, material. It's super soft. It's like a suede feeling material. It's one size fits all, unfortunately, so maybe that's why it was on sale. I don't know. It's kind of cute. I don't know if I can see myself wearing it out, though. I don't know. I feel like I feel like a fisherman. You gotta be quicker than that. I don't know. What do we think? Bucket hat, yay or nay? I think it's too big on my head. Yeah, so this is the bucket hat. It was like 15 bucks. I don't have my phone in front of me, but I might be sending it back because I feel like it's too big. On to the next item. Okay, the next item is this red dress and it is really pretty. It fits so well. It's really form-fitting. It has like a cinched material. I got something from Princess Polly a little while back and it was in white and I wear it all the time. It's been on my Instagram a bunch of times, but it just has like the cinching on the sleeves and this is kind of similar with that cinching as well. I like the square neckline and the straps. Super on trend right now. This is really pretty, perfect for like a little date night for Valentine's Day or just a date night in general. You could definitely play around with it and kind of layer it up for the colder weather because I definitely wouldn't be wearing this out just like this or even something like really big and puffy and cozy. Maybe like fake fur. I got it in a size 2. I probably could have gone a size up and it still would have fit me. It wouldn't have been too loose or anything. I probably won't wear this um, going out to dinner. I'll probably wear something a little more casual. I think I'm going to wear the satin top. I think that's really pretty. Maybe with this blazer or maybe a red blazer over it or like a cute puffy Sherpa just to like casual, make it a little bit more casual because I don't know how dressy we're going to be for Valentine's Day. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this Princess Polly haul. If you're interested in more of the content creation slash Instagram strategy side of things, then definitely check out my February content plan with me video. If you want to see behind the scenes of me filming this video and kind of what my day has been looking like, I'm also sharing a work day in my life as a content creator. That should be up on my channel as well. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Just talk to me Cause when you spend your time with me You're speaking